So recently, I changed my setup from looking like this to this. My old setup was messy, cables all over the place and the desk space was small, coming from the days where I had my desk still in my bedroom. I had a cable box on my tabletop and that's pretty much where all the ugly cables were thrown in. My desk is the Throtten desk from IKEA. And while I do like the fully automatic sit stand desks with fancy wood types, I chose the most basic IKEA version with a crank. The nice thing about IKEA is that you can buy the base only and switch up the tabletop, making it possible to have the desk you want. In this case, I had to deinstall the old 120 by 70 centimeter top and replace it with the 160 by 80 top. And that made such a big difference for me. Much more space and looks a lot cleaner too. Also, the space from my eyes to the screen is much better now, since the desk is 80 centimeters instead of 70 centimeters deep. It was really easy. Just extend the middle part, screw everything back in, and the new desk was ready to go. But I couldn't let this opportunity slide to redo all my cable management. I went and purchased these items. First of all, the power. I purchased the Brennan Stool Ecoline 10, which may look weird for all American viewers since we have different types of plugs and sockets. For all of you Americans, you could of course replace that with a big power strip at Walmart. Just make sure it's not too thick, for it has to still fit into the cable management rack. Then I purchased the cable racks. I chose these because of the clamps and just the fact that I didn't need to use the power drill and risk damaging my tabletop because these tops from Ikea are only like three centimeters thick. For some things it's unavoidable, but it's really whatever you prefer. Also, because this has an open design, you can wrap cables in and around it, making it easier to get rid of them. While in closed designs, you can really only push them in and pray that the box won't explode with all the cables going everywhere. And if I ever decide to change the tabletop again, I can just take them off no problem. IKEA also has similar racks, if you want to go all IKEA. Then I also bought a Mac Mini desk mount. I couldn't find this without screws, so I purchased very small screws also, so to not damage the tabletop. If you do this, you can pre-drill them, or be as impatient as me and just hope for the best. You'll probably want some double-sided tape, or use double-sided Velcro, so that you can change the position later or remove them for whatever reason. Double-sided Velcro is superior in my opinion. Then some cable ties. I have them with Velcro as well to have the ability to remove or redo these. Mine came with the cable management rack, but you can always purchase a pack of these. Some paste-on cable clips are nice too. I had this already, but it's really a nice addition. The Cable Wrangler from Smartish. You can get these on Amazon too. Basically, big magnets where cables stick to, to prevent them from falling off your desk. For those cables, you don't need all of the time. They come with these cable collars too, for if the cable isn't magnetically attracted to it. I purchased this very popular packboard called Skadis too, from IKEA of course, with some accessories to hang up some gear. I also bought a cutting mat for my desk to prevent damage, and it also looks very cool. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, I honestly didn't know where to start. So I just grabbed everything, put it on the floor and start untangling the whole cable mess. When I sorted that out, I put everything at the position where I wanted it to be and tested the length of the cables to see if they would reach my computer. Now I really recommend this step because you need to be sure that the cables are long enough. And in this step, you can still change the position of everything. Then I installed the cable racks and here you need to be sure that the clamps aren't too tight on the desk because you can still damage it of course. Just drop the cables down and start figuring out where you can tuck everything away. Here I also screwed in the Mac Mini mount. Just make sure you use screws that are at least a little bit smaller than the thickness of your desk. Otherwise you'll end up damaging it and you'll hate yourself for it. Now you can drop in all of those power bricks, the power strip, and all of those loose cables. I recommend tying up long cables, neatly, and not just tangle them again, because here too, you can damage the cable. Use those Velcro ties, or even just regular plastic cable ties. 
you can make use of those reusable plastic ones too. IKEA has a set of cable management ties and ready to go paste on things, but I use these and the glue is really weak. So you should really just skip these and get some decent ones on Amazon for example. Now my monitor came with this way of getting rid of the cables on the back, which was really useful. But you can wrap one velcro strap around the base of the monitor too and basically have the same outcome. While of course there are much cleaner and better setups, I'm really satisfied how this looks. There are no cables on the ground, everything is tucked in and the only thing I see on the top is the wires going down. Keep in mind that you'll still see the brackets, but I don't really mind it. If that's something that annoys you, then your only choice is to screw them in instead of getting a clamp. The lights are from Govi, which I really like in this setup. You can set these up with the app too but I like to have a physical button near me as well. And that's why I pasted the controls on the monitor stand. And that pretty much wraps it up. It's so much better than what I was dealing with before. And if you're watching this thinking, that's a lot of work, I don't wanna do it. If you just order the stuff and take a day to do it, your future self will thank you for it.